Good day, everyone. Welcome to Maglandia. Our topic for today is all about the introduction to set. Let's now begin. For the objectives, the student should be able to define set, describe and illustrate well-defined sets and null sets, determine the elements of a given set, and identify the number of elements of cardinality. Let's have the activity first. I have here different kinds of objects. Let us, let us try to regroup this object. Ano ang napapansin ninyo sa iba't ibang mga objects na naka-pose sa screen? We have this, this, and this, and this, and all of this. Now, let's regroup this according to their classification. For group A, what do you think are the common or the similar objects that they have? And letter B and letter C. So I have here the groupings of all the objects. For A, we have banana, orange, and apple. We also have raincoat for the letter B, boots, and umbrella. And for letter C, we have tablet, washing machine, and refrigerator. According to this group, this A are the group of fruits, and this B are the group that will be used to protect ourselves in the rain and for the letter C these are the gadgets or the appliances that run by electronics now let's have this kind of groupings for A is equal to the set of banana mango or apple and orange yes that's correct for letter B, we have raincoat, boots, and umbrella. And for the group C, we have tablet, washing machine, and refrigerator. Yeah, that's correct. We already grouped the object. Now, let's move. What do you think is this? When we use the set, we write this as A equals the quantity of banana, mango, orange, or we call it A is equal to the set of fruits. That's correct. And for the letter B, we have B equals quantity or bracket raincoat, boots, umbrella. And we write this as B equals the set of an object that can be used to protect from rain. And the last group is C. C is equal to the quantity of tablet, washing machine, and refrigerator. And we call it this, C is equal the set of appliances. These are groups that we call it set. Now, let's define what is the set. What do you think is the meaning of a set? Set is a group or collection of objects. It is named using capital letter. Each object in a set is called a member or an element of a set. As you can see, we have this, a group or collection of objects. Ang tawag sa kanila ay set. And I also highlighted the capital letter because we write the set in a capital letter. And 
the elements also highlighted because in every set we have the elements so mabubuong elements or mabubuong isang set because of the elements let's try the example what is the element element is a member of a set and the symbol used for the elements are this one yeah this is the symbol of element and the symbol used for not an element is this one element with slash so if you write this way element slash this is not element okay let's move let's try number one example a is equal to quantity of diligence integrity joy and patience now the answer is diligence integrity joy patience because these are called the elements of a given given set ibig lamang sabihin ang mga ito ay kabilang sa member ng isang set and how to read and write this diligence is the element of a set A that's correct and integrity is the element of A and we read this as integrity is an element of set A because integrity is included in the set A joy is the element of A we read this as joy is an element of set A and last patience is the element of A we read this as patience is an element of set A so meaning anuman ang nakikita mo inside this bracket these are called element of a set A what about this Monday Monday is not element of A yes wala naman tayo nakikita ang Monday inside this bracket so we read this as Monday is not an element of a set A just like the July July is a pa is one of a month so therefore July is not included in this set A so July is not element of set A we read this July is not an element of set A so kung titingnan natin dapat mabibilang mo lamang isang member kung sila ay nasa loob ng bracket na ito bilang set next example number 2 B is equal to the bracket of counting numbers less than 5. As you can see, when we count less than 5, so we have B is the set of 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4 are called members or elements of a set B. Is that clear? For the, for the number 3, let's have set C is equal to the primary colors. As you can see, the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Therefore, they are all the elements of a given, given set C. Remember, the primary colors only 3, red, yellow, and blue. Next. Example, A is equal to the set of odd numbers, and B is equal to the set of even numbers, and C is equal to the set of counting numbers. Remember, when we, when we try to get the odd numbers, these are 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. 
for the even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And for the counting numbers, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let's now proceed. Fill in the blanks with this elements or not elements. Let's try to answer the following number one. Is 11 blank A? So meaning, kung 11 ba, ay kung ang 11 ba ay nabibilang sa odd numbers. Remember the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, 11, 13, and so on. So, 11 is included. So, therefore, this is an element. Yeah, that's correct. What about number 2? Is 8 blank B? Or 8 is the element of B? Remember the, the set of B are even numbers. So, the, the even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So therefore, 8 is the element of B. That's correct. What about number 3? Three? 3 blank is the set of A. Remember, A is odd numbers. And the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5. So, therefore, 3 is the element of A. That's correct. What about number 2? Two? 2 belong the set of B. And B are the numbers or the even numbers. And even numbers start with 2, 4, 6, 8. So therefore, 2 is an element of B. That's correct. What about numbers Number 5, 7, blank, C. Uh, C is the set of counting numbers. So, the, so obviously, 7 is a counting numbers. So, so this, are, this is an element of C. What about number 6? Number 6 given is 3, blank, is the element of C. C is counting numbers. So, therefore, 3 is also an element. That's correct. What about number 7? 10 blank is the set of A. A is the set of odd numbers. 10 is not an element of A because 10 is even numbers. That's correct. What about number 8? 9 Blank is the set of B. B is the set of even numbers. And 9 is not even numbers. So therefore, this is not an element. That's correct. What about number 9? 4 blank is the set of B. And remember, B is the set of even numbers. And 4 is even numbers. So, the right answer is element. And last number, 12 is blank, is the set of A. Remember, A is odd numbers, and the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Therefore, 12 is not an element of A. So, these are the correct answer of the given numbers. Thank you for watching. I hope you really understand and learn something in our set. Part 2 will be uploaded soon. Please subscribe on my channel, Matlanja, My Journey. Thank you and God bless.